Hi everybody, uh, Jill from Tharzo Grows here, uh, just doing our wee um, monthly catch up so I thought I would just uh, show you what we've been doing in the garden um, now that we're into November and uh, just tell you very quickly a few things what we've been doing and also um, what you can do in your own garden or if you want to try growing um, something over the winter then uh, we'll show you uh, what you can do, okay? Here we are, so first of all um, work continues as always uh, with the mulching and uh, with the seaweed and stuff going on to the beds um, we've been continuing to mulch just to add in a lot more organic material um, into the beds there's been a huge amount of harvesting of Brussels sprouts been going on so we've got another Ooh, we've got another three kilos of sprouts off these today, so um, that's good as well, so fairly chuffed with that. Um, those of you that have been collecting your leaves for us, um, the bait is filling up nicely, so it looks pretty full, but don't worry, because I'll uh, squash all of that down, and then we'll give it all a good soak. Some of the leaves are a wee bit dry, so we'll give it all the good soak. And then that just encourages all the wee uh, fungi guys, all the wee fun guys, <laughs> in there to break it all down for us so uh, we'll keep going with that so yeah work continuing as always on the leaf mold so that's for next year compost bays are coming on well um, that one's completely full and then uh, we've got this one here on the end which is almost ready to start using so um, come sort of start of January February we'll get into that end bay there um, and start using that, although to be honest I've been using some on the beds already because it's actually quite good um, so yeah, so that's what we've been doing in terms of the outside so if you're thinking about things that you want to do for um, this time of year uh, what will winter and that coming up so get mulching, been mulching with straw on this one but we've been putting in some currant bushes and things as well and these were donated into the community gardens here so great time of year to think about adding fruit and um, bare root fruits if you buy them as bare root then you can put them in at this time of year so anything like your black currants your brambles uh, your raspberries stuff like that yeah great time of year to do that we've been having a little bit of a shift around in the gardens with some of the stuff that we've got so our, our half barrels here we've now moved them out of the polycrub and uh, we'll have uh, some more stuff going into these uh, fairly soon. Some alpine strawberries there, some strawberries that have been taken off the runners and then some strawberries that have also been donated in to us uh, from Dermot. So thank you Dermot for those, they are brilliant. Um, a wee quick look in the crop just to show you um, what else we've been doing. So a bit of a clear out, we've had quite a clear out in here and uh, just sorting everything out of course for our sowings. Um, we've got some sowings there. There's the Christmas spuds. They're coming on nicely. Um, some little herbs that we've just gotten in recently. So these wee guys are all dormant at the moment. Um, so they're just in here for a bit of shelter. And then again, come the springtime when they start growing again, um, these wee guys will all go out. So there's things like thyme there. And um, what else have we got? That's the broadleaf sage. These ones. Um, Oh, I've forgotten this one. That's the French. Oh, what's that again? Can't see the label. Oh, that's the sorrel. That's right. That's the sorrel. And then we've got oreganos. Tom and Tool. Oreganos and things. So those are the wee herbs that um, will be going in very, very soon. If you followed some of the others, you'll have seen that we did some more sowings. So um, I know some of our volunteers were helping with sowing some seeds to grow over the winter so they've been getting potted on recently so we've got a fair few bits and pieces there as well so this is tart soy okay kind of like a Japanese leafy style for salads and that it's quite uh, quite a tangy thing it's quite nice hot mustard seeds there um, that's the tart soy again these are all year round cauliflower so these are now getting to the stage where we'll start to thin them out and pot them on We've got um, some spinach and some rocket. Okay, so again, rocket is a salad leaf that can be grown. And that's uh, good for overwintering as well. If you just have a wee quick look up the back there, we've got some kale in the background. And then these ones are our pak choys. 
Okay, so we've got some pak choy going over the winter as well for the crab. And these are borage. These are little borage plants for next year. Cutting celery and cabbages and things just ongoing in the background there as well. So a few wee beds uh, with bits and pieces in it. And um, this is spinach in this bed here. So yeah, it's still go. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Now I've just sewn these. Sewed these in April. I don't like the stuff. Can't stand the stuff myself. But there's some asparagus. So I just put them in today as well. Um, and these will take a, a good couple of years to mature into anything that you can eat. But uh, sewn from a free packet of seeds in a magazine in April. Um, pop them in today. They're starting to yellow off, which is normal. This kind of kind of die back a little bit at this time of year, and then the crowns will all start to come again in the spring. But it'll be a good two to three years before we'll actually be able to harvest any asparagus from them. So if you like asparagus, you're gonna have to wait. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So yeah, so that's what we've been doing. There's our wee catch up uh, for November. A couple of volunteers down the end there. They've been uh, helping me out today, socially distanced, of course. We've got Ali and Jennifer there, so thanks to them. Thanks to everybody that came in to help today. So yeah, that's our little uh, November. Go get gardening. See you in December. <laughs>